work than I meet. Um, I head to the department with my director, I usually drive the director, so we're effectively working from when I pick him up. Um, it's usually dark. Uh, if it's not dark, it's day and it's going to become dark, and that's even worse. Um, because it means you're doing night shoots. Um, and then generally uh, we do a 10 hour standard day. A cinematographer has many hats. I guess fundamentally I'm in charge of the pictures and the camera and the camera work. Um, but within that, there's a whole lot that goes on and it's everything from the lighting and composition, obviously, um, the camera placement, how the camera moves. The cinematographer has to be able to kind of communicate with everyone. That's pretty much my day, you know, working with every single member of the crew, really, like my lighting guys, my grip guys, my camera guys, the director, the first AD, the actors. I was ever hoping I would find uh, on any given day, uh, we get 15 minutes to prepare each of the boys, um, but that does include a bit of extra time as far as shaving, brushing teeth, etc. Washing faces, getting sleep out of eyes. Getting sleep out of eyes. Part of the art of being a good technician is being able to anticipate what's coming up and prepare for it before that shot so you, you might have a set lit beforehand or a dolly track laid and ready to go or a crane built you just throw the camera on turn the lights on and away you go these sort of leapfrog setups to keep ahead when you see a film or a television the location is the background the role of a location manager is to is basically being caught between the, the logistics and the creative. The creatives want a particular look, but the budget is another. So uh, I find the locations, and then I work out logistically how a crew are going to be able to service the location. Location manager's job is to fix and start sorting tomorrow or to fix up what happened yesterday. You primarily you look after the cast, you uh, help the first AD make sure that the day runs smoothly and you help communicate with uh, all of the crew um, what's happening at any one time, um, moving from scene to scene and you communicate with the second AD who sits at unit base and gets the actors ready. Um, you communicate with them and they communicate with the office what's happening during the day, so just making sure that you're running to time and you're getting the scenes done and, um, and that cast are ready when you need them. Um, the amount of time we probably spend shooting is probably half of that. I don't know, it's just a lot of sitting around waiting. Yeah, like on average we'll probably have like four, six scenes a day. Yeah, six scenes a day. Six scenes a day. To get tutored when we're not on set. Tutoring, or <laughs> or we just wait around. Interpretive dance. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, the, a lot of the time, they'll just have us standing there for um, so they can adjust the focus on the cameras and um, to stand on our marks for ages. So makeup we'll, and costume will be doing checks on us. And we just get played around a lot with our puppets. Um, the best part of being on set, I think, is being able to work together with everybody and um, because you work such long hours, you've quite, you get quite close with um, the rest of the crew and the cast. The general camaraderie between the team and the unit, um, because it is, there is a lot of sort of hanging around, waiting on things, so if, if you've got a good rapport with your team, that helps you get through the day as, you, as you're getting things done. We all wear, wear little radios and microphones so we have our own radio channel so there's a lot of banter that goes on the radio you see us walking around laughing to ourselves <laughs> it's probably someone talking in our heads the worst part is probably all the waiting around but yeah i enjoy it so i like everything <laughs> yeah and for me the best and worst parts of the days um i think the worst parts for me is that it gets really tiring 
and I get so tired with the hours, and I know that we all do. And it's really time consuming, and you go home and you just go to sleep. Standing. Yeah, standing as well. Standing. Sitting's great. Stand, stand. Yeah. Alarms probably went off around 4 a.m. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's definitely the worst part. <laughs> oh, and the leeches. Thirteen hour days are not unusual. They get a bit tiring, but it's also incredibly challenging and incredibly interesting. And it's the only job that I've done where I get to the end of the day and go, "Oh my God, we pulled that off." The best part's probably lunch. No, uh, one of the best parts is lunch. I do love the food on the film set. Jess's is lunch. <laughs> I do like lunch. An afternoon tea, breakfast is pretty good. 